Wednesday night in Toronto, the Barry Baycats were involved in a play that has never happened before in franchise history. They executed a triple play in the 11th inning of their 12 inning 5 3 win over the Maple Leafs at Christie Pitts. And joining me now to talk about it, a couple of guys that were on the field when it happened pitcher Brad Grievison and catcher Josh Cote. Guys, thanks for doing this. Hey, no problem. Brad, we'll start with you. It was a wild and crazy game right from the outset. You find yourself in a four inning relief appearance and you had to pitch out of two bases loaded nobody out jams in extra innings before we even talk about the triple play that's something i've never seen in baycats history i'm wondering if you've ever been in that situation in your career quite honestly i i know that i've been in a few spots just one inning alone bases loaded, nobody out, uh, wiggle my way out of but never in back-to-back -back innings ever like, for me no so what are you thinking in a situation like that because there's only a couple things really that can go well a strikeout obviously is always good or a pop-up but a ground ball is risky a line drive is risky you know there's a guy at third representing the potential winning run what's your mental approach in that situation uh mental approach i mean i gotta attack hitters plain and simple i don't have any room for air i can't put them anywhere i'm hoping for uh for weak contact at at the very least or shallow fly balls anything on the infield or uh like you said strikeouts so josh you're behind the plate you're calling the pitches you're setting the target for brad What's the first thing that you're thinking about in a bases loaded, nobody out situation with a winning run 90 feet away? Uh, I was mostly just thinking we got to go right out again. We can't dance around anyone. We can't walk anybody. So I was thinking we got to get inside, get some weak contact in on their hands, hopefully get it right back out of position player, get the out at home kind of thing. I was hoping for a double play because going through three guys with bases loaded, some of them's, someone at one point is going to get lucky. So kind of get as many outs as we can as soon as possible. So the ball was hit at first baseman Hayden Jago. He made the catch. W were you able to determine at the time that he caught that as a line drive, or did it take a moment for everybody to kind of figure out, wait a second, there's a guy to double off at first and a guy coming home to try to score? Yeah, so when, when it was hit, I saw, it, saw him catch it. It was pretty close to the ground, but I saw the guy at first break. I wasn't really looking at third too much, but I saw him break, so I yelled, one on one, let's get the out, and then Right as he was tagging the guy at first, I saw someone slide behind me, realized it was the guy at third, and he definitely had not enough time to tag up, so just started calling three, and he broke on contact, so it was lucky we were able to get the trip play and all that. First triple play you've ever been involved yeah. in as well? Yes, first one I've seen. Pretty amazing, and Baycat fans have not seen anything like that in more than 20 years of franchise history. So you guys will forever be linked in a pretty uh, amazing moment on the field at Christie Pitts in Toronto. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. The Baycats beat the Maple Leafs by a score of 5-3 in 12 innings on Wednesday night in Toronto.